Hatchet! You're late. Sir. What do you mean by coming in here at this time of day? Hmm? I'm very sorry, sir. I am behind my time, sir. <laughs> you are indeed. Step this way, Mr. Cratchit, please. It's only once a year, sir. It won't be repeated. I was making rather merry yesterday, sir. <laughs> I'm sure you were. Well, we won't beat about the bush, my friend. I'm not going to stand this sort of thing any longer. Which leaves me no alternative but to raise your salary. <laughs> I haven't taken leave of my senses, Bob. I've come to them. From now on, I want to try to help you to raise that family of yours. If you'll let me. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll talk it over later, Bob, over a, over a bowl of hot punch. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you, you just go and put some more coal in that fire. And you go straight out and buy a new coal scuttle. Isn't you do that before you dot another I, Bob Cratchit? <laughs> 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 don't deserve to be so happy. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I just can't help it. <laughs> Scrooge was better than his word. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the good old city ever knew, or any other good old city, town or borough in the good old world. And to tiny Tim, who lived and got well again, he became a second father. And it was always said that he knew how to keep Christmas well, if any man alive possessed the knowledge. May that be truly said of us and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. <laughs>